Hi, this is Dorleen, and I'm continuing my Cricut challenge. It's five days of Cricut projects. Today I'm working on an HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl um, project, and so I'll be creating this kind of reading slash book uh, iron on for a t-shirt. The first thing I did was I went to images and searched for the images that I wanted. And on, if you notice, they both have books. I don't want the books on this section, the sentiment section. So I'm going, I hit that contour button, which is on the lower right-hand corner, and I'm contouring out or hiding the pieces that I don't want to show. And you can do that by scrolling down, which I just did there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm changing that color to black because I want this to cut as one image. And if there's two separate colors, they'll cut, they'll sort on two different mats. So once I do that, I adjusted the size of the words by unlocking the image. There's a little lock on the lower left-hand corner, and then I just kind of stretched it out, and then I re-locked this. First I unlocked it, and then I locked it. And then I grouped the two together and align it so that they're centered. Once I do that, I like the way it looks, then I'm going to hit that Make It button. So now my Cricut's going to cut it out. But before I do that, there is a little section on the side that says Mirror. You always want to remember to mirror your images when you're using heat transfer vinyl because the way it cuts, it's, it's backwards. And if you don't mirror it, it you're basically going to waste your HTV. Right now, I am weeding out the centers of the the images and you notice that I kept the vinyl on the mat. I don't normally do that but this vinyl was on a roll and I knew that if I took it off the mat it would roll as I was removing the vinyl and there's a lot of well not a lot a lot of weeding to do on this project but there is a lot and I thought it would be so much easier on that flat surface versus one that kept rolling up on me. Um, what I did do and I won't show you the entire weeding process is once I was done weeding in between, I cut around the images so I still kept the leftover vinyl because, you know, we don't want to waste product. Once I cut it out, I realized that I forgot to attach the wording with the image. So when it cut, it didn't center that section, which is fine. So I just cut it apart and when I iron it on, I'll be able to adjust it and make sure it's centered then. But I'm glad I noticed it now instead of after I ironed it on. It wasn't that much off, but it was definitely noticeable. And I figure if I notice it, everybody will. So now um, I'm, my t-shirt that I'm using, I am using the iron as it's warming up to iron it for two reasons. One, it was wrinkled. And two, it's always good to preheat your, um, the, base, I guess, if you're going to call it that, in this case, the t-shirt, because when you put the HTV on it, that just kind of, uh, kind of acts a little bit more gluey, like it's warm already, so it'll attach better, and it is better on the image. Now, one thing to note, I normally, from the, when you do an adult t-shirt, so from the collar, you usually about three inches down. I only did about two because this was such a large image, so I thought if I just kept it kept going down, it would just be too long. So I ironed it on um, after checking the heat guide for Cricut, and once it cooled off, I went ahead and peeled all that off. Isn't that so pretty? I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Hit that subscribe button below, and I hope you like this final project and stick around for more Cricut projects from me. Bye! You can also see all of these images and get more information on my blog, which I will have down below. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.